Right then, lads. So today we are doing more Rate My Squads because you guys seem to like me picking apart your squad. But there we go. All right. So I'm f I'm feeling like Ellen today because we have another guest on the channel. So do you want to introduce yourself? What's up, guys? My name is Drew Shah, fellow streamer, YouTuber, here to race some squads. You're you're gonna keep my scores down because I, I people have <laughs> people have said I'm very generous with my scores. So you are gonna mellow me out. We'll see. If you guys do want to submit your squads, I post it every Saturday. Just basically, I post a GIF and then I say. Let me your teams, and then we'll just go from there. All right, so we're looking at the first team. Right, so we have Mike Conley, RJ, Kuzma, Aaron Gordon, Bam. New Zion, which is a bit of an interesting one. Dylan Brooks, Kukoc, Ferry, Ben Simmons at center. And then I, I'm fairly sure he snuck these next players in. Just, just first first impressions? Well, first impression, I see Mike Conley, and I don't know why Mike Conley is there over. Manu, RJ Barry, and Kyle Kuzma are budget cards. Aaron Gordon, I haven't really seen too much of. That Bam is nice. Zion is nice. I like him. Dylan Brooks, I forgot he existed, so that tells you what I think about that card. Tony Kukoc, not my favorite. Danny Ferry is really good, and I like that Ben Simmons. And of course, he, he snuck in those Knicks players to get some points from you. It doesn't work for me, but he's going to get some points from you with those Knicks players at the end. All right, so in terms of like a, in terms of like a rating, what are you thinking on it? I'm thinking this is a 7 from me. He has some good budget cards that can definitely catch fire quick. That Ben Simmons, people would underestimate him. Defensively, his team gets kind of killed. They, they're not going to grab a lot of rebounds. That's really what it is. You can compete with a lot of budget cards, in my opinion. But when you get killed on boards, I think it's going to cause a problem. So I think it's a 7 for me. I'll be honest. I didn't think we would get off this early. But I would kind of agree. I do think it is a 7 out of 10. Solid. It's a solid budget team. Obviously, RJ snuck in there because... <laughs> my viewers are great but yeah overall decent decent budget team but to get obviously thousand mt so not a lot of wiggle room but i think he could uh i think there's a lot of improvement to be done here but overall decent team all right on to the next one we have oh it's a bit of a uh, tasty one ben simmons pg pascal the new pascal gladiator uh bill russell chris Stapps, posing god you love to see it back when he was actually decent nicholas batum tj warren jonathan isaac ball ball and james wiseman so what stands out to you straight away? The starting lineup is great. It's really just the bench yeah. that I would work on, but he has a great squad. He can just use this team in Unlimited and be fine, to be honest with you. I don't know if you've seen the caption. He does say Ball Ball has clamps and Isaac has half showtime. And also, Luca would replace Batum. That, that definitely improves the squad even more. But it's not a bad squad. Like, I would just right off rip probably give it a 9. I don't particularly like Jonathan Isaac and TJ Warren, but uh, they, they can definitely get the job done. So, I, I mean, I would give it a 9 just because those all these Invincible cards exist. But a nine is not bad. I just want to make that clear. A nine is not bad at all. You don't like Jonathan Isaac? No, I do not. What? Jumper. I what? don't like that card. <laughs> I don't like that card. There's no Danny Ferry. Like, Danny Ferry is in every way better than Jonathan Isaac, in my opinion. And uh, he doesn't have Danny Ferry here. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. That's the first one. Like, in terms of me, I'd probably start Isaac over Siakam, personally. Like, I that's how much I love that card. Like, okay. I love that Jonathan Isaac. When Luca gets in here, what are we thinking? 9.5? I would probably give it a 9.5. <laughs> yep. And yeah. the jump from 9.5 to 10 is, I guess, unfairly large because I can't give anybody yeah. a 10 without more Invincibles. So, like, 9.5s, I'd probably be generous and give out 9.5s just because these cards are, like, superheroes. In terms of, like, me in particular, I'd probably... I don't want to. I don't want to just stick with you and say a nine. It might have to be because yes, Ben. Ben's fa fantastic. I'm not a massive fan of PG. Uh, Russell's amazing. Chris Stapp's amazing. And then yeah, just I think the weak link is the bench. And obviously he's sorting that yeah. out with uh, getting Luca. So yeah, unfortunately we are, we are sticking with a nine again. Green again. Okay. People say that I'm very generous with my ratings too. Like other people would tell me like, no, this is an eight. All right, on to the next squad. We have Josh Smith, uh, TJ Warren, Jimmy Butler, Christian Wood, AD. That's a Suspect AD. Luca, Elgin, Steven Jackson, Bam Adebayo, George Mikan. Why are you benching George Mikan for Anthony Davis? That's, that's what that's... comes to mind first, too. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Also, Elgin over TJ? I think he just likes TJ Warren. That's uh, pretty surprising to me, too. But the fact that Elgin's there, I respect He has the same jumper as Luca. His is faster, though, so I like it better than that, Luca. I mean, offensively, he's he's pretty fine. All his bigs. I don't want to say they're short, but people are running seven foot bigs. I would say, though, for this team, I would probably give it eight. I'm actually going to be harsh. I, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm not a massive wow. fan of the point guard. Alright, let me just stress. I don't mind Josh Smith, but the main thing that brings it down is Luca. Just because yeah, I'm bored true. of seeing Luca. You guys have to be a bit more creative. <laughs> like, I, I think I'll lower it to 7.5. Sorry, Herbal. I think I'm lowering <laughs> it to 7.5. That's true. Good point. Alright, so I'm going 7. You're going 7.5. Mm -hmm. Alright, on to the next one. And I'm just giving it a 10 out of 10. That's like, that's that's where the team ends. Ben, Giannis, KD, Bill, Another Chris Stapps, Grant Hill, Paul George, Thornmaker, 
All Ball, James Wiseman, Shaq, AD, and Danny Ferry. 10 out of 10. Move on to the next one. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I don't even know why this was submitted. There's no review here. If I see this team in Unlimited, I'm locking in. I've beat teams like this before, too. Like, I'm locking in, just so you know. Like, you're going to get people sweating you just for having this team. <laughs> but yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm trying to, like, think of anything to, like, improve this, but I generally can't. Oh, it'd be Grant Hill. I, I can see it's Grant Hill. That'd be the upgrade, but it's still ten out of ten. I still, I still, I still stand Grant Hill. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's where we differ. Don't, don't talk. Hold on. I'm sorry. Technical difficulty. Hello. Hello. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. On the next one, we have LeBron, Josh Smith. Also, I'm over here now. Uh, RJ, Amari, Anthony Davis, Jr. Elgin, Ben, Julius Randall. Oh, don't make me cry. Uh, D. Rob, Luca, Bam, and Nicholas Batum. A lot of next players. So instantly, your boy's in love. I'll try not to give bonus points, but it might be. It might be one of. Point guard, LeBron. Just ridiculous. Uh, fan favorite, AD. Big fan. D. Rob, bit outdated. I think he's getting a. a would you, would you agree? D-Rob better outdated? Yeah, D-Rob's definitely out there. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would agree. In terms of like, just like, trying to take the bias out of it. I don't like Julius Randle at power forward. What? Very much a run him as your smaller player in triple threat. What would you rate it? Right, right, unbiased. Unbiased rating. Just because of PG LeBron, I'll go, I'll go a seven. Just because I think your backcourt on your bench would be lacking a little. So I, I gave the other team a 7.5 and I'd like this team better. But then I don't like JR. I would probably have to go with 7.5. <laughs> but then Amari, I don't like either. It's like a couple outdated cards, but he can still do well offensively. It's just defensively. I don't think Julius Randle, David Robinson hold up. I like Josh Smith. LeBron is crazy. And RJ Barrett offensively, I like as well. So I would probably go with 7.5. I think I'm definitely the more generous of the two of us here. I'll go with 7. I didn't think that would be the case. <laughs> offensively, I can I can work with these cards myself. I'm picturing how I can do with these cards too, if I like them. And I think offensively, like the team's fine. It's it's defense for a lot of teams is the problem. Is why I'm giving lower rate. That team needs Bill Russell, by the way. I didn't mention that team badly needs to Bill Russell. <laughs> I don't know where he is at. I don't know if Snipes is working on Bill Russell, but that team badly needs Bill Russell. All right, we have probably one of the better teams I've seen. Well, ben, starters wise, yeah. Josh Smith, KD, Thornmaker, Bill Russell, James Wiseman, Luca, Vince, James Worthy, Tony Kukoc, and Bol. A nice squad. You, I know your eyes are like locked on that <laughs> Kevin Durant, so I let I let you uh, I let you take the reins on this one. So just because of that Kevin Durant, best shooting guard in the game, got Thornmaker, Bill Russell, and Wiseman starting. That Josh Smith, I like. I would probably go with a nine. I'm going to be harsh because that Luka's a little outdated. Yeah, I'm going to go with nine, even though KD's on the squad. Without that KD, you take KD off the squad, it's going down. I don't like two coach. I don't like Luka and Bobo at the five. I don't like either. So, But that Kevin Durant just balances out. I'm giving him a nine because of that Kevin Durant. He did put in the caption, give me my 10 out of 10. KD wasn't cheap. Oh dear. I will give it a 9.9 because .9, I don't like Luca. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the heart. All right, we have Manu TJ. You're a big fan instantly. Uh, James Worthy, Bob McAdoo, Bill Russell. What I love, right? Instantly. Look how many reward players there are. Yeah, there's a lot of rewards. Literally, they're all reward players. That's uh huh. Bravo 2K, bravo. JR, Elgin, Larry Johnson, Josh Mikan, Jerry Lucas. Where's the wrong uh, team logo? I won't forgive <laughs> you for that one, 2K. Steve Nash, Jimmy, and good old Vinny Vince. Yes, Bob McAdoo. Have you used Bob McAdoo yet? I have not used him yet, but a lot of people like him. Either way, free Dharma. He's uh, not too bad. Bill Russell, obviously you get some points. You got Larry Johnson. I'm, I'm struggling with this one, so I might need to use you for inspiration. There's a lot of rewards and that's cool. The cards are good and you can still, you know, play very well with them in on the video. I can't say that they're particularly Great. And, uh, you know, I don't like JR by now at this point in the video. <laughs> Maybe a 7.5 because I don't like that dash underscore dash at the end of his name. So I'll go with 7.5. <laughs> I don't like that. It's, it's, it's kind of corny to me. I'm not going to lie. I don't like that. <laughs> so 7.5. Okay, I was not expecting with docked in points for usernames, but there yeah. we go. I'm, I'm uh, docking points. <laughs> points. I don't like it. That threw me De off. Buddy. Definitely, definitely docking points. I noticed that. The first thing I noticed, by the way, I just didn't say anything yet. <laughs> All right, t I didn't think I'd be the generous one again, but actually, I'll go, I'll go seven. I'll go oh, seven. wow. All right, so we got to figure out which pixel is who. We have Luca, Jimmy, Thon, Bill Russell, Bobo, Ben Simmons off the bench. That's the first. Vince Carr, George Gervin, cheeky, Danny Ferry, and James Wiseman. So, instantly, our first Dark Matter Luca. Honestly, I was going to give this car, this team right here was going to be like a 9.5 for me. Like, 
like, this is a good team. There's literally no weakness. Oh, I don't know. I could find a weakness. No, nah, Vince. I, I really don't think. Maybe? I don't think Vince is that bad. I really don't. <laughs> Halfway through the video, if you have a Vince of a Luca, you get a ten out of ten. So we have my first ten out of ten. Oh, are you gonna be? Are you gonna join us in the ranks of ten out of ten? I came into this thinking if I don't see a KD, I can't give a ten out of ten. This team is very good though. Like I would love to have this team, but I'm 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 not. I'm gonna be stingy. It's gonna be a nine point five. It's the shooting guard is the weak position, oh. and I like Vince. And I was just saying I like Vince. I like Jimmy, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a nine point five from me. Am I on the right? I've been not blocking anything. It's <laughs> instantly I see the Ralph Sampson. All right, we have Grant Hill, Ray Allen, PG thirteen, Bill Russell. Ralph Sampson, I'm so sorry. Uh, Magic Johnson, Demar, Julius, Thornmaker, Chris Stapps. You benched Chris Stapps for Ralph Sampson. John Morant, Vince Carter, and you done Willis Reed. Have you used Willis? I like him for his defense, his rebounding. It's his jumper is a little bit slow at this point in the game, but I'm still running him because of his defense and rebounding. But it's, it's the jumper. Yeah, I was leaning just a walk out. <laughs> Instantly, uh, I'm lowering the points because you have Chris Stapps on the bench over Ralph Sampson. Granted, Ralph is expensive, so maybe you have a bit of bias remorse because it's obviously the lock to get him. You have to lock in, what was it, like a million MT? What's your thoughts on the shooting guards? I was going to say Damar should start over Ray Allen, in my opinion, especially because he's on current gen. Oh, really? I think Magic should start over Grant as well. Yeah, personally. I don't think... I think that's current gen. Honestly, okay, it's, like more it's bolder, next gen. So. Okay, Ray Allen on next gen is a demon. Ray Allen's great. He should start on next gen. <laughs> Incredible. I lost to Ray Allen today in a tournament. So uh, Grant, Ray, Paul George, Bill Russell, Ralph on next gen. Ralph can curry slide. Like, that's a great starting lineup. I would probably keep using Ralph on next gen. Now that I see that it says next gen, like, this is not a bad squad by any means. Magic is the fastest player on next gen. It's incre incredible. I would go with a 9.5. Start Magic over Grant? Oh, I would definitely start Magic over Grant easily. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I was like, but I'm not going to dock points for that, though, because he's still on the team. Picking up Magic and he's on the bench. <laughs> just like... Yeah, I, I would start him. But he, he has the original <laughs> own Grant. I think he just wants to start his original own card. I give it a 9.5, especially on next gen. Like, this is a, a good team on next gen. I just think he should start Magic. I'm not gonna dock points okay. for that though. Okay, uh, I will. Um, stock right stock. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, well, on, on next gen though, to be fair, Ralph Sampson is. He can curry slide and he's fast. Oh, Jamal. Yeah. All right, we have Dame, Damar, Jimmy Butler, Bill Russell. Is he starting Chris Stapp? See, people learn. Okay, instantly. I, I've just noticed. You do not organize your bench. Please fix that. Do you know what I mean by organized bench? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, this is not oh, organized. Dude, it drives me it drives me insane. Just organize your bench. Yeah, organize the bench. <laughs> and I, when you look over all the way to the right, all the way over there at the 12th and 13th spot that nobody usually looks at, he has Jerry Lucas and George Mikan, who I don't like anyways. <laughs> so on top of that, like he's just losing some points here with it, with the being unorganized and then running Jerry Lucas next to Mikan. <laughs> I don't know about this. Dude, just the bench gets me every time. It's not that hard to organize a bench. The actual team, Jamal Crawford. Not my favorite. No, 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 no. Not very good. Maybe he starts JR. Maybe he starts JR or he mm -hmm. somehow someone starts JR a power forward. I'm not 100% sure. But maybe he starts JR. Obviously, you're not a massive fan of JR, as you said, because that struck me in my heart. In terms of a rating, so obviously you don't like the backup bigs, so I can already... I can already sense what your, what your oh this is gonna be. so I I think uh, I think a lot of people will stand with me when they say that that Damian Lillard is a trash can Jamal Crawford's not very good I don't like Jr <laughs> TJ Moore's not my favorite and I don't like Jerry Lucas and Mikan's all right I, I'm gonna be harsh here and I'm gonna go with a six point five. Oh my god, you don't like Dame. Uh, no, you like that Dame card? You like that Dame card? Oh no, you like him? <laughs> Dude, I will come over to New Jersey and we will discuss this like. Have you played the Bill Russell challenges? <laughs> that Dame card? Oh man. Shy, you know what? You could just get good at the game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh man, that Dame. He's getting bullied left and right. 2K set him up though. 2K, 2K made it. It's, it's 2K's fault. I don't like that card. All right, so you give it a 6.5. Um, I'll give it a 6 because I don't like the uncleanliness. Van Arsdale, well, censored Van Arsdale. Tom Van Arsdale, Danny Ferry, George Mikan. Jerry West, Kyle Korver, Bailey Howell, Keith Van Horn, Bill Lambier. That's an interesting one. And I will say as well, he does have Nico on the bench. Nico's actually a baller for a bronze guard. I'm not gonna <laughs> That's I, funny. I used him as a I used him in a bronze challenge on Triple Threat Online. He was actually ridiculous. It's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting you to talk about that card first out of everybody. 10 out of 10. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I wanna say, first of all, it is day three and he has both Van Arsdale brothers. I have neither. But to, to, to actually rate the squad, it's a little bit on the shorter end, especially those first three cards. And then Jerry West, Al Corver off the bench. And then Bailey Howell at the three as well, which obviously you have to play him at the three. 
three. It's a little bit on the shorter end. I don't know if I particularly like a lot of these cards. I would probably give this a six, even with the Van Arsdale brothers. That's fuck. A six. A six, <laughs> because I don't know about that Bill Lambeer, Keith Van Horn is not my favorite. Jerry West is not my favorite. Steve Nash is not my favorite. The Van Arsdale brothers are really carrying the squad, as long as well as uh, Danny Ferry. They're carrying the squad here with the six. And he has a lot of MT. He can, he can definitely improve the squad. Look at that MT. Uh, to be fair, while, his, while he does have, you know, some suspect uh, bench options, he does have Nico. So, I think that's the super sub. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna give him any uh, emotional points here. No, uh, I have no attachment <laughs> to that card. I'm gonna stick with my six. All right, I'll go with I'll go with a seven just for the luck of getting the Arsdale twins because that's that's ridiculous. All right, lads, that's gonna do it for the video. Again, massive shout out to Sha for being the lovely guest. I say lovely guest, but our opinions <laughs> differed. So yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll leave it on that one. But what can we expect from you on your channel slash Twitch channel? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And it was a lot of fun. Um, if you want, if you guys want to check me out over on Twitch, it is Shot, and you can expect uh, pretty much. I play a lot of unlimited on stream and then I'll be grinding for Luca because we just have to get this Luca. Best reward card we've got <laughs> in a long time. And uh, yeah, a lot of uh, anything 2K will offer any content. I'll grind it pretty much on stream. Yeah, he actually plays unlimited, so you guys are starving <laughs> for limit unlimited on my on my channel. You know where to go because for for some reason he can actually play it. I, I don't <laughs> get it either. Yeah, but, like yeah boys, Shah's, Shah's links in the description as well as any pinned comment. Again, massive thank you to Shah. So that's gonna do it for the video, boys. If you guys have enjoyed, smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new on you. Let's see you guys later. Take care. Boys. We give a massive shout out to channel members Kev, Ant, Waze, Hans, Lewis, Wallow, Casey, Magic Magpie, Michael, Mario Santos, Kia, Jack Lane, Lindsay Nell, and Josh's mum. Thank you guys so much for all your support.